Most of us prefer not to talk about colon health and take those functions for granted. But many conditions can affect colon health, particularly as we age. A University of Michigan gastroenterologist discusses diverticulosis and its symptoms and complications and reminds us that regular colon cancer screening should start at age 50. When the stool comes into the large intestine or the colon, it's liquid and so the water has to be absorbed. So it gets more and more formed as you go around the colon. Diverticuli are little out pockets in the wall of the colon that are covered by the surface of the colon, kind of like um, a balloon pooching out um, in, a, in an area of weakness. Diverticulosis is very common, and that's just having the out pockets in your colon, and anywhere from one to hundreds is still diverticulosis. Diverticulitis is an infection in one of the diverticuli. It's one com complication of diverticulosis, whereas diverticular bleeding is the other major complication of having diverticulosis. The symptoms of diverticulitis would be very much like appendicitis, fever, abdominal pain, maybe uh, in the beginning a little diarrhea and then suddenly no bowel movements, um, a change in your bowel movements. Somebody who has diverticulitis could probably reduce complications and maybe reduce their lifetime number of diverticuli in their colon by keeping their bowels moving well, soft, uh, avoiding constipation. Screening for colon cancer is also part of keeping your colon healthy. The recommendations for colon cancer screening are at the age of 50, everyone, even if they don't have a family history of colon cancer or colon polyps, even if they don't have any bowel problems, they've never seen any blood, they think they're totally healthy, everybody needs to have a colonoscopy after the age of 50 for screening for colon cancer.